Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural. It's been a while since I've done a sit down and chat and bring you to your, <laughs> don't let me say it. So welcome to Discovery Natural. So if you are watching this for the first time and you're like, who is this woman in front of me? Why am I even watching this? Well, it's because you want to see my beautiful face, but really it's because you want to learn something for your natural hair to make it healthy. So click that subscribe button. That one, that button, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that one. You are looking at me right now, you are looking at me. Click the subscribe button and also click that bell because YouTube has been acting weird and not giving people our videos. The reason why you are here is to find out how do you create that moisture protein balance moisture and protein they work hand in hand if your mama didn't tell you if your daddy didn't tell you if nobody told you about that let me tell you auntie shola is telling you now that moisture and protein is the key the solution to your problem it will not put money in your bank account but it will help your hair out so moisture i've talked about moisture overload on the channel before which you can find out by clicking right over there in that button over yeah that over there so you can find out about that now you don't want to get protein overload and you don't want to get moisture overload but first of all moisture is important to your hair because that is what helps your hair to not be breaking all the time and protein is also important because that is what keeps your hair strengthened with protein it improves the elasticity of your hair and it also improves the way the strength of your hair it fills in all those gaps whereas with moisture it keeps your hair soft and keeps it yeah very soft and succulent and all that stuff but what can you do how do you create that routine first of all you have to create a routine on how to care for your hair let's say wash day everybody has a time to wash their hair if you're someone that ah, may i just wash my hair whenever you might want to rethink that okay sometimes i'll wash my hair when my hair feels dirty but keep a record if you are serious about your hair keep a record when it's come to wash day determine if you're going to start with moisture first of all start with moisture look for products that are moisturizing look for products that don't have so much protein in them you can do a deep conditioning with a moisturizing deep conditioner and then follow up with a leave-in conditioner that has protein that is the easiest way to do a moisture protein balance regimen very easy now if you want to take it up to another level you can say okay this week oh i'm going to do use only moisturizing products this week but then maybe middle of the week if i want to hydrate my hair moisturize my hair i'll use some leave-in or some moisturizers that has protein in it then at the end of the month you can say my hair is one hair that doesn't like protein a lot i'll just use a light protein i'm going to show you some products over here it's just a whole array of products that me and the girls we've been using for a while and if you follow us on instagram you see me doing favorites uh, on my IGTV on Discovery Natural Instagram you see that we use products that we show you so it's not like I use it and I pack it aside after video I don't do that all. so let's go up over here hmm can you see ah my towel <laughs> okay let me show you I'm gonna show you what I do so I can start off week one so week one I could of the month I can say beginning of the month I will say I'm gonna start off with moisture so I will start off first by using a moisturizing shampoo you can use any shampoo pretty much a moisturizing shampoo I, if you can't find moisturizing shampoo look in the DIY section or playlist of this channel I have a DIY moisturizing shampoo which you can create by yourself very easy to make so easy you you even you never buy shampoo again but then you can say you want to use do a protein treatment let's say you want to do a protein treatment it's always important to do a protein treatment with a moisturizing deep conditioner so you take a protein treatment for example this is one I use this is green beauties protein treatment it's I put it in the fridge and it's got hard but green beauty product protein treatment it's called green beauty real protein treatment when i use this i follow up with a moisturizing leave-in so this is like a moisturizing leave-in this is the ever 
butter, moisture retention, leaving this product if you need moisture. This is really good. See, see what I just did now? Protein, moisture, easy. Then second week, you can say, oh, second week, you want to do a moisturizer. It, it, if it's confusing to you, rewind this video and watch it again. So there are other things that we do for the girls when it comes to protein. I use this here. This is the Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. That, you guys know I film in my bathroom, right? There's a ghost taking a shower. <laughs> Are you done? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I use this Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. And then for a moisturizing conditioner, lately we've been using the Urban Bella Hydrating Conditioner. This conditioner is really, really good. We love, love, love it. Other things that we use, we also use the Kadima 2 in 1 Shampoo. So these are products that we use in our array and in addition, end of the month, we will use the African Black Soap. We, this is the African Black Soap, which is a clarifying, it's also very moisturizing because they put conditioner in it. So pretty much, let me know what you guys do. Do you guys follow a moisture protein balance? What do you guys do? Comment below, let me know. And if you love this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later and hope to see you in the live chat on Sundays at 3 p.m. See you later. Bye. Ciao.